So we are going to look at some builders today. What's the first builder we're looking at? Adley. Adley. So we're gonna go look at Adley, um, check out some of their model homes, decide if they have any models that would work for us, or I don't know, we're just trying to research, trying to figure out where we wanna be, what we want, do we want brand new? Do we want something pre-built? We don't know. But the boys are with mom and dad and little miss is with us today, so. Or do we want to fix her upper? Or do we want to fix her upper? Yeah, because we thought about that too. Cause a, that's... a gently used or a fixer upper? <laughs> yeah, we don't want full on <laughs> fixer upper. Like no. move in ready, but we can make it our own and change things Ooh, as we go. Update, you know. Yeah, so. That's on the agenda for today. Not, not a never touched since the World War One home. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No, no, no. We want to be able to live in it <laughs> and fix it up. If so this is the first room. house we're touring. This is the Duval. So I'm in the front. I'm literally standing on the door. Um, but the ceilings are beautiful. They're so tall. So you got this nice entry right here. And then to your right, you go on this hallway. Hi! And you've got bedroom number one. They have obviously set up as an office. Is that a closet? Yeah. So closet. I can't open that, so that was I would imagine the closet. Yeah, and they may have it. Oh, yeah. Because well, it's a since it's a model home, that's back to back. Okay. There's an office in here too. So that probably wouldn't be there. No. And then, so that's the real closet. This is just. This you know. would just be a wall. So these two are identical twin looking bedrooms. Uh -huh. And then they would share this bathroom. Nice. Which the only thing I would want is a double sink in here. Because of, it's going to be a, the kid's bathroom. But then they got the tub and shower. The bathroom has a linen closet which. I love, love, love that that has a wooden closet. Yeah, what do you think they are? 12 feet? I'd say they're 12, because this is higher than ours, and ours are nine. Yeah, these are massive ceilings. So that's when you first walk in, and then you go a little bit further, and you have a like office den area, which we would have it set up pretty much like this, and then with a pull out, sofa that way for guests and stuff and then you go further in go this way you have the kitchen and then to the left this is probably my favorite thing is you actually have a walk-in pantry but then right behind this, they have like another pantry. So you could easily have like appliances and stuff like that in here. And then food and stuff in here. So that's awesome. And here I assume is laundry. So you have sink folding area. And then I'm assuming the hookup, actually by the outlet on the wall, the hookup probably goes here. But large um, laundry area. And once again, still tall, tall ceilings. And then out again, you've got that door right there is the garage. The kitchen is very pretty. Those 42 are standard too. 42 cabinets and they're a real private box. They're dovetail constructed. They're slow close doors and doors included standard. We include below cabinet lighting, all the recess cans and dining room. But this whole area is completely open. This though, Bobby and I love is all the houses have these pocket doors so this opens 
all the way up into a lanai. And then they show it screened in and we would definitely have it screened in as well. But it like is beautiful. It adds so much to the house. And the main area is completely open. So we'll go to the right is the master bedroom. It's a little bit smaller than our bedroom, but not by much. And honestly, it's plenty big for us because the closet is like five of our closets. So here we have a linen closet right here. Beautiful walk-in shower, which Bobby and I right away were like, perfect for washing the dots because it's a huge walk-in shower. Toilet room, and then dual vanity. So pretty, so, so pretty. These counters are to die for. Look how beautiful. The floors are all the wood look tile, and then this closet. This closet, oh my goodness. This is why like we would probably get rid of some of our furniture because I don't know how we would fill this closet. However, I was teasing Bobby how he would literally probably get this side and then I would take this because he's got a lot more stuff than I do, but it's gorgeous. We would probably put some built-ins and give it some better storage, but it's, it's huge. They got an ottoman in here. Like it's massive. So I'm not too worried about the master bedroom being a little tight. And it's really not that small because this is a king size bed. We currently have a queen. We have talked about upping it to a king though. So that obviously has more than enough room to have two nightstands. We would have a dresser there as well with our TV. And then they show a chair there, let's be honest, this would be a dog bed. Dog bed right there. But it's more than enough space. So absolutely gorgeous. And then right back out here, we're gonna go through that door now. All right, so this is kid bedroom number three. Very good size. We were saying these closets, because the wall, the ceilings are so high, they are so tall that we could put more storage up higher and then just do one of those pull downs if we needed. But like, this is just a poor use of space with just one little thing, so plenty, plenty of storage. And they have beautiful windows and everything. And then there's a third bathroom right here to your left. So, You've got the beautiful vanity again, toilet, another linen area, and then another walk-in shower. So, three bathrooms, four bedrooms. So pretty, so, so pretty. But this is, this right here is the selling point. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. I couldn't get a good view before, but you can see Big Island storage on this back side as well as the front. And then just a ton more cabinets than we have in our house. Um, the big sink. The stove is an upgrade because it doesn't have the back, it's the flat stove. But this definitely this is a nice kitchen. I like all the drawers too. That's one thing we miss at our house is having drawer space and this definitely has a lot, lot more. So, ton of seating, ton of storage, and then right across from the formal dining room. So, that's really nice. In the garage, you have your heater, or your heat, AC, water, this is a two car garage, electrical, but then you also have a walk up attic. And this is what we're curious in because we'd be losing a basement going to a attic space. So, not a lot over there to store, but over here, 
you definitely got some storage. So this ain't, this ain't too bad. Cause you got some room. You could do some shelves up here. Maybe even put some more boards down right there. Expand it a little bit more. Um, maybe if needed, put some stuff over there. Like stuff you absolutely don't need for like a long time. It's just more, yeah, we got this cause of this. But not bad at all. Here, we'll get a better view. It's got all that, it's exposed to the rest of the house. And yeah, this ain't too bad of a space. When you look at it, not bad at all. Little steep coming up on this, but I think I can get a fair amount of stuff up here because there's a bigger opening than our current garage. And yeah, it has a light. Could probably run some more lights. Uh, okay, there's the faucets. So maybe do like some solar powered fans up in there. And then that would be nice. Looks like they got some stuff stored already up here. So this is out in the front. Love the porch. And then it's just a two car garage. However, it does have a covered two car carport in front of the two car garage. So Bobby might agree to that. Otherwise, this is what the front right, of the so house looks like. So here's the second house. This is the Floridian. Three car garage right away. Smaller front porch. But it doesn't look bad. So we'll go inside and see what this one looks like. This one should be a little bit quieter because we're the only people here this time. <laughs> the doors are massive. I'm going to need a ladder to clean that. These are 12 foot ceilings as well. Oh, the ceilings. I love this tall ceilings. All right, so entryway, we're going to go to the left first. Let me shut the door so we don't let all the AC out and bugs in. All right, so you first have a bathroom. It's a little small, but it is a full bath. For that bedroom. So, a walk in shower. And then linen closet for this bathroom. So that's nice right away. Once again, a linen closet to go with the... Oh, this is kind of like a secondary master because there's a door here. So you could completely close this off and it'd be like a secondary master setup. But little clo little bedroom in here. So this is so far bedroom one, which I think is probably set up to be like guest area because yeah, literally bedroom, bathroom, but then this can close and that would be completely private. And then going forward, look at those beams. So pretty. Oh my, this is so pretty. Huge so island. Those, you pick your own. Pendants okay. and dining. Okay, so, so you, you pick our lighting. And the ones in the other one were upgraded. Okay. So you get to pick those though. Once again, really pretty light counters. Big kitchen though, plenty big. And I love the massive island. And they've shown all of them with those single basin sink, which I know sounds silly, but for us, this is, all yeah. I love that they all have that pocket door. So it completely pockets off. But this, like, this is one thing I wanted. But you can see, so I'm standing in the kitchen. You have the family room and then dining area. Nice, big and open. Let's go out and see the lanai since Bobby's out there. And all, all of the properties either back up to the little lake or a preserve so you like here be, you have people behind you because of they're on the other side of the lake but no one directly behind you so nice little set seating area there but where bobby's like at this, area is a lot more open than the other one. this is massive hi baby girl yeah no that's huge two hands Oh yeah, and all the pocket, pendant, not pendants, but 
Can lights. Daddy, you live in the girl. I know, I was looking for the lights. She's like, where you go, Dad? Oh, look at you, you can put a TV. Oh, that's nice. All right, so we'll go back in here. Bobby's TV will easily fit. Um, let's go this way. I have a feeling this is probably the master. Yes, okay. So master, there's that. Okay, so this master is a little bit bigger. Um, so they have it set up with some sitting area. Once again, king size bed, two nightstands. This literally way more than enough space for Bobby and I. And then go in here. You have a good size vanity, double sinks again, walk in shower. Once again, nice for the dogs. Easy, easy dog washing area. And linen closet, toilet room, and then master closet. Not as grand as the last one, but still plenty, plenty big. Her body and I. We, we, we don't have that much stuff. So, and I like their floor choicing. All of it's this wood look tile. All that's standard. Oh, Bobby says the ceiling stuff is standard. So that beautiful design is standard. Let's go this way through the kitchen. Okay. Pantry again? Yep, pantry. All right. It's not a walk-in, but it's uh, not bad. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It's, yeah. But there's a lot more cabinet space in this house, so. Why did they lock something? The Why did they lock the garage? That's annoying. Okay. This is laundry then. So. A little smaller than the other one. A little smaller, but. And no sink. It looks about the same size as ours, other than ours had a closet. Yeah. Well, I like the beams in here. I love the beams. And then if we go this way. So there's things I like more about this house and things I like less, but. I wonder if you could do the beams in the other one. Bedroom, closet, and I'm sure this is almost identical over here, bedroom. Nice bathroom. Once again, not horribly big, but I think it's fine. I think it's more than fine. Ex then linen, linen, and another bedroom about the same size. So all the bedrooms are about the same size other than the master, which doesn't really matter. This is the big thing is the main living area, and this seems to be beautiful absolutely gorgeous like this sectional is pretty massive and then they have stuff behind it so and the kitchen i'm just in love with the island that island alone being able to have all the kids right there um eventually hopefully baby number four <laughs> there's enough for everyone and then there's Cabinet space galore. This is definitely, definitely really, really pretty. It's a really big island. It's a very big, I love it. The island's my favorite part. And I like, I go back and forth. I like honestly that the sink is in the island purely because if you got the children's right here while you're cooking, you don't want them right up against the stove. Up against the sink's not a big deal, so. Having that over here is nice, but so, so pretty, so pretty. I do, I will say, babe, after looking at this one and seeing the water compared to people, I would be more than okay with a water compared to a reserve. We were trying to decide what we'd want in our backyard more. And we're like, ah, do we really want to look across the water and see neighbors? I wouldn't mind it. It's not bad. It's really pretty, actually. I don't know which house I like more. 
There's stuff about this house I like more, like this. This lanai area, I like more than the other one. But I was more in awe over the master bedroom in the other one. The master bedroom, the closet, for sure. The yeah. laundry room has the sink. Um, so there's little But I think I like this layout better. This one doesn't have a flex room though. It doesn't have a flex. I mean this room. This this okay. this massive yeah, area. What are you doing? Well yeah, no flex room. No flex room, that's a big deal. It is. Not right now because the boys would probably share a room. And yeah, but very pretty. Freya, do you approve or are you just playing with a book? You gonna eat the book? Baby girl, she's like, mom, I'm studying, leave me alone. Those two houses. There are things I liked about both, yep. but I think we both agree that the first one was the one. Was the one. Now that's from just this builder. And I got yeah. stuff in my hair. I went up in the attic. He probably wasn't supposed to, but he did. I did. And I don't think you're you, supposed to because no, it was a pain in the butt getting that door down. I don't think nobody's been in it. But it was a walk-up attic, which you guys would have seen, which for us is huge because you guys know our basement. So we need storage. Um, that's cool. But yeah, out of those two homes, 100% the first one over the second one. One, the second one's master bedroom was larger, which is great. Some people love that. Yeah. We don't need that. And the first one's master bedroom was a little bit smaller, but the bathroom and the closet were nicer. Which is more of what we care about. There was just more storage in the first one. You had a, lot more a pantry, or you had uh, linen two closets, pantries. two pantries, linen closets in every, every bathroom. Every bathroom. And the uh, the closets uh, ceilings are all ten feet, so you have like extra room. You just gotta put in, you know, shelves um, or some sort of storage device. Um, yeah, it only had a two-car garage, but it had a two-car covered carport, which they said you could probably get that screened in, which not a big deal. I wouldn't mind it. It also it. had a front porch. It did. The, the other house did not. The other one did not have a front porch, and I love my front porch. And the other house, that lanai that was so big and like so inviting, it uh, that was extra and they yes. said they only did that on that home and they won't do it to any future ones unless you get the new construct like it has to be a brand new house but if it's on that started, one lot yeah there's only like one house that you can have that option so yeah so right there that tells me all right i really like that the lanai but if it's going to be the smaller lanai then nope now the downside to or the plus side to that smaller house was you could have a bigger pool the bigger house you could have a, you can have a pool but it's going to be a lot, lot smaller lot smaller um but there is a you get a bigger center. yeah you have a community center which has a pool yeah but that first house had a, a really big lanai and that's it's really it's coming down to that square footage cuz we're losing the basement so where are we going to have the dojo for the boys um, the storage is nice above the garage. I can fit a lot of stuff up there. So, and then we can fit stuff in our closet. That's a massive closet. So we could fit a good amount of our stuff in that big house. No doubt. Yes. The other thing I like about this builder is the model homes. Yes, they showed with upgrades, but not a crazy, like, it's not like you're looking at a house with so many upgrades and it's gorgeous and you're like okay and the real thing you get is like a lot of it the sliders were standard the ceilings were standard the giant doors were standard the only things that were upgraded were the counters were quartz they normally do gray on it which whatever um painted cabinets so the white painted cabinets would have been extra which I told Bobby, in the bathrooms, I don't care. A light stain in the bathrooms, I would want the kitchen to be white, though. The floors were extra, which I'd want to pay for, because 
I love those floors. Yeah. Compared to just big square tiles. Yeah, for sure. What else? Was that it? I think so. So, oh, and the lights. The lights were extra. The lights were extra. Yeah, upgrades. But those were all the upgrades. But you get to pick your lights. They have a light, different light packages. Mm -hmm. So you pick your pendant lights and your your dining room. The chandeliers. The chandelier. Yeah. So, you know, that's nice. And we were talking, there's some cool upgrades that we could do um, in those houses. Like the really cool detailing in the bedroom ceiling. If we... Um, framed those out in wood or even the big cutout in the front hall entry like we could do a lot of DIY personalization of that house to make it ours so I would say day one so looking at houses at the first builder was definitely a success yeah and we got our appointment and a couple hours for the second one which you'll see later you'll see later and I don't know, it's, it's at the same location, so you're gonna have all the same amenities available. You got pool, gym, uh, uh, walk or paths, biking paths, walking paths. All that stuff is available to both these builders we're looking at. And they're in the same same subdivision. It's just one side is one, and then the, the other side is a lot more because the other builder owns- All of it. All of it. So. Yeah, that's one thing we figured out also is, um, so this was Adley. Mm -hmm. The next one we're going to look at is ICI. ICI owns the subdivision. Adley has bought in lots from ICI. Yes. Um, so we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Um, but yeah, the amenities and everything are awesome. So... <sighs> Baby girl already fell asleep. We're gonna go get some lunch and then go over there. But we're gonna end this one here. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. And we'll take you through those houses as well. That's awesome. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Bye. Bye.